Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Okay. All right, let's put away our little T-Rex hands for a second and talk about a, how exciting this haul is, B, how justified it was, and C, how in the world I managed to collect these many Ulta rewards points. This is why Ulta is the goat. You know what I mean? I don't even know if I use that correctly. Like, I should probably ask my sons. So, I love when Ulta's like, hey, Diamond, 10 times points today. I'm like... Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I need stuff. Whenever they do 10 times points or they have a coupon or there are times where they do a coupon and the 10 times points, it's the time to stock up on your favorites. And if you're feeling a little, you know, treat yourself, girl, then it's time to add the super exciting stuff into your cart. This is what I got using my Ulta rewards points. You know, if you know how to use the system, I don't, I don't know how to use the system. This just means that I shop way too much, collect way too many points, and then justify this massive haul by saying it was free, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you wanna see what's in the box? Let's get into it. Like any and all my videos, anything that we talk about, anything that I show, anything that I haul, this amazing sweatshirt dress will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. So if you're like, Danny, you talk way too fast. Like, slow down, girl. Just check down there. It's always there and it's in order. Yeah, like I put it in order on how I talk about it. Okay, let's get into it. I am not going to get too deep into a couple of things because you've heard me talk about, about it way too many times. Is this... Is scratching gross? Like, is scratching like burping? You know, I'm like, I've been doing this for a long time today. I've been awake since very early. I've had a very thorough day. I volunteered. I mean, it's, it's late at night. And so a lot of stuff that's gonna come out of my mouth is because of exhaustion. So just kind of roll with it like you usually do. Okay, the EOS Shave Cream. This is so good. It's my favorite. It's awesome. I love it. I just, the squeeze tube one, not the pump one. This one is the one where it's at. So I had to stock up. Like, I'm like, did I run out of shave cream? Like, I don't even shave that often. And I did. So it was the perfect time. I was like, oh, it's free, basically. You know, because I used the a promo code that they had. The one is only eligible on like drugstore products. So I was able to use that and then my points. And it's like, it's like saving on top of savings. It was so exciting. Okay, another favorite that I was like, okay, now's the time because, you know, I'm going to use all my points. My favorite shampoo, the Biolage Volume Bloom. I just, it's so good, I love it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you have fine hair, if you, if you do the best you can with what God gave you, you need that shampoo in your life. Okay, if you have a handsome, sexy husband, like I do, and you wanna get him some manly beauty products, these are three of Parker's Holy Grail items from Billy Jealousy. So the Billy Jealousy Devil's Delight Matte Pomade is what he uses in his beautiful hair. It's nice because it's matte. It has reasonable hold and he can reactivate it with water if he needs to kind of like re his hair. So that's what he uses in his hair. The Billy Jealousy Devil's Delight Beard Balm, it's a little, it's a little beat up. It had tape over it so I took it off and uh, now it's just, just don't, don't judge the packaging. Anyway, if your man has a beard, this stuff is so nourishing because what Parker explained to me is the skin underneath the beard gets kind of dry and itchy. And so if you use a balm, it's really gentle on the skin and it sort of keeps it protected and hydrated. Plus, this scent is just so nostalgic for me. It just smells good. I really like it. So I got him a refill of his favorite beard balm that we discovered together and the Billy Jealousy Beard Wash. So a beard balm sort of, it has sort of like an emollient texture, almost like not as oily as a Vaseline, but very similar. So it's like a, a very nourishing, creamy, balmy feel to it. So this, like he can get in there and like really shampoo it out and it has a man on the cover, so it's manly, and he's more inclined to want to take care of himself properly. You know, this is what you gotta do. You gotta like, lead them to water, shove them, hold them down, and they'll do it, they'll use it. 
No, he really does. Like, I told him, I was like, hey, I'm going to use all my Ulta points. Is there anything else you need? He's like, yeah, I'm going to re-up on the Billy, on the Billy stuff that I love. I was like, okay. Your wish is my command, my love. All right. Speaking of, is it speaking of? Oh, I just talked about this in a favorites video and I still have it in the packaging because I want to show you the packaging for some reason. Okay, so the Vanilla Company Cleansing Balm we discovered in the previous Ulta haul that I did, it came as a tiny little sample, like a little pod. I used it that same night and I was like, Okay, so here's the deal. My favorite cleansing balm is from Pharmacy. This is one of their new limited edition scents. So with Pharmacy, I love it because it's very thorough. It takes everything off, including your mascara. No need for eye makeup remover. And it has a milky finish. So there's no greasiness. There's no residue. There's no yuck. But this is a Sephora product. So it has a Sephora price tag. Now, this size, like... This is like twice as big as that one, half the price, and it works just as good. So the Clean It Zero Vanilla Company Cleansing Balm also has a milky finish. It comes in this super size. There's also like a, there's a travel size and there's a regular size. This is the big size. Why did I get the big size? Because I had reward points and I love it. So this also has that milky finish, but it's a drugstore alternative. So I really could not I'm not a gatekeeper. The girls and I went on girls night the other day and our waitress had the most beautiful skin. And I was like, oh my God, what foundation are you wearing? Because she was wearing a lot of makeup. I was like, you have glass like skin. It looks incredible. And she's like, oh, if I had the time to give you my skincare regimen, that's probably what it is. And walks away. I'm sorry, before we got to that restaurant, Irma and I were at Sephora and everyone was like, what's on your lips? What's on your lips? I love that lip color. And I was like, Urban Decay Gash, here, come here, let me show you. It's this lip liner. It's all over my lips. Very 90s. It lasts forever. I love it. It comes off gracefully. Like, don't gatekeep stuff. You know, if someone's giving you a compliment and outwardly saying, what foundation are you wearing? Like, what benefit is it to you or what harm is it to you to share? So I literally said, your skin is incredible. What foundation are you? You don't gotta worry about what, what, what my skin looks like. I just wanna know what foundation's on your face. Anyway, so if you work at Haywire and you said that, that wasn't nice. Don't gatekeep things for your friends, you guys. Be the girl that airdrops the link, okay? Speaking of, no, it's not speaking of anything. I am running out of mascara and I don't have a backup. Like, who am I? And you guys know how I feel about high-end mascaras. You gotta be real special for me to like you, like superhero from It Cosmetics. So when it comes to mascara, I'm more of a drugstore girl because, I don't know, it's just more exciting. So I've been running out and like most things that I love in this world that get discontinued, they leave a really gaping wound and Lash Freak from Urban Decay is one of those. And I was trying to find something similar, but also just replacing some favorite. I just wanted to have some drugstore options. So this is what we came up with. We got the Sky High Cosmic Black. I don't know what Cosmic is, but Cosmic made me get excited. So everyone says they love this mascara. I haven't tried it, so I decided to try it with my rewards points. How many times have I said that? Should we play a game with every time I say rewards points, you do something? No, you might end up with poisoning. Okay, telescopic original. I love this, I like it. I mean, it's not like holy grail status, but it's like never gonna disappoint. You know what I mean? Like, huh, it's always good, like a cheeseburger. Okay, why did I spit when I said that? Clearly I'm hungry. I love extreme crazy volume mascara. Like I want aggressive packaging when it comes to my mascaras. This reminded me of Lash Freak. So I'm really trying really hard to like mend, like mend that, what, what can I call it? Like that gaping hole in my heart. Like I need to stitch it up right now. I'm on life support. I need to find something that's like Lash Freak and I'm hoping one of these will check that box. And Essence just has great mascaras. I like the violence, you know, I like the aggressive graffiti text. I want crazy volume. I want to lash like a boss, okay? So I'm looking for length, volume, separation, and like a splash of like tarantula legs. 
Like that is my ideal mascara. Most people would say spidery lashes are the worst. I, on the other hand, am like writing love letters to spidery lashes. This is who I am as a person and self-awareness is key, you know? Do you guys remember? You don't, okay, so years ago in FabFitFun, I got a uh, Spongel. Spongel was this like super luxury sponge that came pre-filled with soap. What? How do you come pre-filled with soap? Oh, they are really cool. This, oh, this one smells good. Did I know it was gonna smell good? Okay, so anyway, this is the like Ulta variety of sponge gel. It's called Spongibles. Okay, look at that. This one is the exfoliating soap sponge. So it comes pre-filled with soap, but it exfoliates. And these two are for your feet and they come with a little case. It was the same price. You could get the two for the same price or the two with the case for the same price. I know. Okay, so this one has two sides. It's for your whole body. It can, it has, bleh. it has avocado oil, vitamin E, and it moisturizes and hydrates. Lasts over 20 washes. All right, let's see. What, what was that? That was violent. Okay, so you can't feel it, but it's pretty, it's, it's soft, but it's heavy. So that's the exfoliating side. Oh my God, it's like I'm doing the dishes, you know, like for your pans, for your dishes. So it has the exfoliating side and then just the normal side. But the whole thing has soap. That smells good, okay. And then this one is for your feet. Lasts over 40 washes and it has a textured side to exfoliate dead skin and the smooth side to massage and cleanse your feet. Should we get into this one? I love ripping packages. You know, like I'm I'm a child when someone gives me a gift. Unless I'm in public, then I'm like, okay, let me open it. No, no, there is no, oh, look how small it is. Oh, it's so little. Look, it's so little. See what I'm talking, that's, that's why the reaction, sorry. Like I should have explained. That's why the reaction, the different, oh my God, it's for your feet. Why oh, it's so small. And then it has a little case. That is cool, because you can put it in the shower. That one smells good too. Lavender and tea tree oil, no it doesn't. It smells nice, because for me tea tree oil is like, lavender is like, you know, like I like it, but it doesn't smell pretty, it just smells like, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but just go with it guys, because little case. That's cool, okay. That's I think one of the most important things with these preloaded sponges is like how you store it. You wanna make sure the shower is not like constantly hitting it because then all the soap's gonna come out. You gotta store it safely so you don't waste those 40 washes. You know, those preloaded washes. All right, let me, I don't know why I'm like, you know, like I'm over here with this giant apartment size box. So recently I discovered the soapy body scrubs. And when I was like, oh my God, it's a soapy body scrub in a PR haul, you guys were like, that's totally a thing. Like, why are you, why are you so excited? And I was like, cause it's a, and it's soapy. It's like really nice and convenient. And you were like, that's totally a thing. Why is this news to you? And so I got your frustration. So I went on a mission to find something similar to the EOS one. And the only one I found, see what I mean? It's not a common thing. It's not common knowledge. So if you knew about it, like you're, like you're up here, like props to you. So the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life is a body scrub that comes in a squeeze tube that is soapy. How convenient is that? You know, I'm used to the kind that come in a tub and you put your hand in there and then I use like my little Korean rag that like really like it's abrasive, but this one is soapy. Another body scrub. This had like insane reviews. The Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt. This is for dry stress skin. How about like dry stressed life? Anyway, this had really good reviews. It's not soapy, but it is for dry stress skin. Skin, skin, did you hear that? <clears throat> Hold please. So this is gentle, creamy, and like, really nourishing for those of you that have angry skin. I'm waiting for it because once winter rolls around, my skin's like, there you are, Rhino, what's up? So 
dry stress skin. Can't, I can't wait to use this. And you know why? Because I use my reward points. <laughs> I'm so annoying. I'm the little sister or older sister or aunt that you didn't know you needed or maybe don't want. Because Shea Moisture was buy one, get one 50% off, this product had insane reviews and you know, it may be news to you, but under all of this flat ironing, there's curly hair. So the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner has really good reviews. I'm a little nervous because Shea Moisture is for people that have more luscious hair than I do. So I want to use it, but I'm a, I'm a little like, I'm gonna come up with excuses to delay the use of it is what I'm trying to say. But it might be really nice for those days that I wanna leave my hair curly, just a little rinse out, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to update you guys on this, but first things first, let's see what it smells like. Oh, okay. It smells like expired toasted coconut. Is it, does it always smell like that? Let me try again. Maybe I'm just being a jerk. Maybe I'm just hungry. It is like my late, late, late night snack hour. Does anyone else like look forward to their late night snack? No? Okay, for me, late night is like 9 p.m. I'm being dramatic as always. Then I wanted to replace these guys. So I have this set already and I really love it. And Tweezer Man has this option where you can send your tweezers back and they resharpen them for you. How do you do that? I don't know. I've never looked into it. I just buy them again. And it just so happens that when I bought this, it came with a free gift. It's a buffing cube. It's like a buffing cube. So it's like, hold on, what does it say? Buff, smooth, shine, I don't know. It's like a four-sided little buffing cube. Do you guys wanna see the state of my buffing cube? Okay, that one was free, which is why I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm building it up to the rest of my story. Let me show you. <laughs> Judgments aside. Judgment free zone. This is my buffing cube. Um, yeah, those aren't stains, that's just, no buffing. It's gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know buffing cubes, like, ran out. Like, they ran out of buffingness. So, this was a free gift, so I'm hoping this is similar to this. But because I overthink things, and I was like, maybe it's not. So I'm gonna get this one. This is from Ulta, and I think it was like three bucks or something. But you know what it wasn't? Three bucks, because I had my rewards points thank you guys thank you why is it sealed so shut sealed so shut why is it shut so sealed it's like there's no opening like you see that oh, gotta love my little panda scissors god bless you for sending me these panda scissors love these things so handy and so cute okay so it comes in this like super thief proof packaging that it has a sleeve oh oh wow this is okay okay file then buff you see that it's in white it's gonna be hard to see buff and then smooth and then shine i don't know i'm hoping it's similar to this but like the file side is really aggressive how about this one Okay, same concept, literal same concept. That is so cool, one was free and one was like $3. Just kidding, they both were free. I know, I'm annoying. Okay, I'll stop. I'm almost done, you guys, I promise. Restock of my favorite eyebrow pencil, I love you. Like, never get discontinued. I would probably cry. You know what, I would actually do a petition. Like, I'm never that, I'm, I'm, I never have that strength to like go that far, but if they discontinued this $2 eye, brow br brush eyebrow pencil like I'm, I'm sorry elf if you discontinued the instant lift brow pencil in taupe i would start a petition and i would also cry okay that's it that's all i gotta say about that this is the best the best base coat ever but did you know it came in this size doesn't it look like those <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like the <laughs> little glass things 
So anyway, I'm getting nervous that mine's gonna run out because apparently halfway the box. Okay, like this is not this is not old. Like this is relatively new, and look how much I've used. It's good. So I just got the big one, and then I can pretend I'm at the salon. You know, they have the little big jugs of like oil, the big jug of top coat, like the big. It's like why did I call it a jug? They have the big one, C and D sticky base coat. How many of these things have I not said the name to? Do I need another lip oil? Like I need a hole in my head that is full of squirrels not cooperating. Okay, Milani Fruit Fetish Strawberry Melon Lip Oil. I'm not expecting miracles here. Like this reminds me of that like roller lip oil. You know what I mean? Like the roll, roller ball from the dollar store when we were little and like you had grape and you know your friend had cherry and your other friend had strawberry like that's what this reminds me of but let's see let's find out all right we're doing it oh whoa look at that is that even a doe foot applicator that is like a ogre foot I'm sorry milani that was a thing to say I can already tell you this is gonna stain in a good way. Cause I'm a lip oil connoisseur. I have too many. Like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love it. I, I love it. Strawberry melon. Strawberry melon lip oil. Yeah, Coffee Break Danny approved. Love it. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I'm like, I was very excited because I was like, wow, a new naked palette. And then I was like, okay, we're missing the naked point here. Like we're missing, do you remember when naked palettes were like actually neutral palettes? Like that was the thing, naked palettes. Now it's just like throw naked on anything and market it in the same palette. But I love metallics. Like I'm a sucker for good metallics. And I honestly don't have silver eyeshadow in anything of my collection. And I've always wanted to have silver eyeshadow. I know that's a weird dream to have, but when this palette came out, I was like, I have not reviewed a palette in a very long time. Would you guys be interested in a review? I posted a poll on Instagram and all of you said no. <laughs> I still bought it with my rewards points, but do you care? Like, do you want to see a review? Would this be interesting to you? Because I don't want it to turn into like a womp womp, super negative video. I'm a little excited about it, but I'm not as excited about this as I am about this one. Do you want to review on this one? You got to let me know. Like both palettes, one palette, one palette, not the other palette. I mean, I know. How many times are they going to like remarket these shades right here though? You know, so I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I'm conflicted because I want to love it, but I don't, but I do like it. Am I making it like, is this one of those relationships where it's like, girl, just give up. You can't make it work. Like, give it up. Like, should I do that? I don't know. You know what I do know is that I'm going to list and link all of these items that I got with. and uh, anything that I'm wearing. I'm gonna link all this stuff in the description box. Hopefully it's as exciting for you as it was for me to do for you this video. Wow, major ESL moment. I hope that this video was as entertaining, as exciting for you as it was for me. Thank you guys for being so generous with your time and always hanging out with me. Everything is listed and linked and I think that's it. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. What are you gonna get with your rewards points? Do you wanna, you wanna know what I got with my rewards points? Just had to, just one more time. I just had to, just one more time, just get it out of the way because I love you. <laughs>